no crunch core workout. We are aiming to work your core through its functional capacity. So your core actually encompasses your whole torso. It doesn't just mean your abs. So it means that this workout is gonna help you move um, well, not just through your abs, but through your back. So if you want a stronger, more resilient whole core, not just your abs, your back as well to help you lower your injury risk and generally be able to move around in life better. This is the one for you. I'm going to be using a weight. I've got a heavier one and a lighter one for one of my exercises. However, saying that, you could do this completely body weight. So up to you how you want to play it today. Let's get going without further ado. So if you've got a dumbbell, I'm using my heavier one here. I'll let you know when I drop to my lighter one. Um, if you are using weights, we're going to start holding up at the chest. We're going to go into a squat. And as you go into a squat, I want you to chop it down slightly below your knee. Okay, so going as powerfully as you can, we're going to go chop and up, chop and up. Now, this is quite simple to modify. You're just not going to take it as low. You're going to shorten the depth of your squat. Let's keep going. Exhale. I generally like to exhale on my way down. But I usually say in these things, don't really mind when you breathe. Breathe when you feel the most comfortable. Don't worry about, ugh, there's no right way, basically. Let's go for last one. And then bring it up in front of you. Slightly in front of the body here. Still in my squat position. As I go down, I'm going to bam out to the side. So I want the speedy part to be as I turn my weight and go into my squat and then I slow down when I bring it back in. Once again, if I want to make it a little bit easier, bring it in closer to my body, less of a squat. Let's go for it together. So bam. So I'll keep, keep it into my body to begin with, just to keep showing you. And I'll make it harder, take it further away. Quick as I turn. Slow down on the way back in. Remember, like you're gonna smack someone behind you. Might make you wobble a bit, that's fine. Go for a few more, for two, and one. Right, final one of this series. Gonna really want to do a narrow, uh, sorry, a shallow squat here. So starting at the collarbone, I'm gonna drop down as I do. It's like I'm throwing my weight just over my shoulder. Okay, once again, nice and simple to modify. I want you to leave out the squat and just focus on this movement up and over the shoulder, like you're kind of just throwing on a backpack. I'm not sure if that's a good analogy. Let's go together. <laughs> so drop and go. So once again, the speedy bit is on the way up and then I recover it back into my chest. So remember, you can take out the squat if you'd like to, go a little bit slower. The aim is to keep my shoulders pretty level so I'm not dipping off to the side. Keep everything quite level, look forward. Go for a few more, for four, three. If you're using your weight, you'll fill your arms as well, last one, well done. Okay. Those of you holding weights, keep hold of them. <laughs> um, I'm going to put it into one hand. So um, I'm going to have it at the side of one of my hips. I'm going to step forward with my other leg. As I do, I'm going to let my chest come down to look at the floor. I'm going to do a swoopy motion, like I'm digging a nice big spade in my garden. I hate gardening, so I don't dig very much. So if you do, and it doesn't feel anything like digging, then I'm sorry. So, onto the side of the hip, I step forward, chest comes down, dick. I want that to be quite a fast movement, like this. But what I do to start with is to shorten your step and just slow everything down. And this is your modification as well. You're just going to kind of slow everything down and take a smaller step. Okay, so if you want to come with me, go for the big step, speed it up. Chest comes down into my front leg, and I'm really swooping. I'm trying to, it's less of a um, 
spade actually. It's more like I'm trying to draw a big circle with my dumbbell. Opposite leg stepping, stepping forward to the hand that's holding the weight. Should have said that earlier, so sorry. Oh, bad trainer. Three, oh, two, oh, last one. Awesome, okay, you're gonna swap to the other side. Give yourself a couple where you just start small and get used to that other leg. And if you feel like that's enough, stay there. Or you can start making it a little bit bigger, swinging through like so. So draw that big circle coming back to the chest each time. Chest comes down as you go into your circle motion. Ugh. The more aggression ugh, you swing into it, ugh, the more your core has to destabilize and your leg and everything really. Last one, well done you. Right, I want you to just take a short rest, grab yourself a sip of water. We're gonna add on to that a little bit. So you keep resting, I'm gonna show you the next move. We're keeping with the circle dig thing. I can't decide what to call it. Um, <laughs> so you step forward, opposite leg, you dig, circle that weight forward, and as I step back, I'm gonna take it up above my head like this. It means that my, the front of my core really has to decelerate to stop me falling backwards. Okay, so I'm gonna show you that at full speed, I hope. So I'm gonna go down and up. So nice and quickly, as soon as I start stepping back, that weight's coming above my head. Once again, I can make that a lot smaller, a lot slower. Here, take it above my head. I also don't need to take my arms straight. I can keep them there. Remember, you can do this all body weight as well. Um, you ready? Let's go for it. Let's take it to the side of your leg. Opposite leg steps forward, dig, push back, comes overhead, and go. So from my overhead position, take it straight down to my hip, and so I can swing straight into my next one. A few more. Three, two, do about eight to ten of each, nearly fell over. Eight, right, swap to the other side, you're doing really well. These are not by any way easy. Let's go for it. So we make a circle. Ugh, this side just generally confuses me. <laughs> so let the chest come down. Ugh, make it smaller to begin with, or slow it down a little bit. So it requires a lot of coordination, this one. <sighs> Might just take your brain a second to catch up, but certainly does with me. <laughs> Last three, two, last one. Oh, absolutely got me panting that one. All right, you have a little chill. I'm gonna explain the next move that we're going to do. So, gonna keep it held in both hands. This is quite a fun one if you've got a little bit of, bit of rage, bit of rage bubbling. So, I'm going to take it, let's just start by, I'll show you the first part anyway. I'm going to take it and shave the side of my calf and then bring it up to where I started. So bend over, shave the side of my calf and I really mean get to the side. So it's like here, so I get as much rotation through my back and my core, torso, whatever you want to call it, as I possibly can. So let's start with one side. I'm going to take it down, and then from here, I'm going to pretend like I'm going to throw it over my opposite shoulder. So from this point, I'm going to go wham, up and over that shoulder. Then let's stick on the same side, so mainly I don't get confused. So it comes down, and then from there we bam. Now to modify, you can come down much less, come up to the shoulder, just literally say hi to the shoulder, and then take it down. It doesn't have to come all the way up high and over the shoulder like you're, I don't know, back fisting someone really tall behind you. I don't know if that's a good analogy, it might have come out wrong. Anyway, let's give it a go. So, coming down the side of your leg and 
bam, and keep going the same leg. Adjusting that range if you need to. You're still gonna get all the same muscles, just not quite so much to decelerate. But it is quite a nice one to get your spine moving, body weight, and you can slow it down. If you've been sitting for a long time, it gets that rotation, flexion, and then extension. Oh, fell over, but that's a good opportunity to go the other way. So let's go the other way. Down the other calf. Bam! Might feel a bit difficult. Oh, or different on one side. This side, for me, always just feels a little bit less like it wants to rotate. Which can be useful for some things. Less useful for others. Remember, adapt that range of motion as much as you need to. And you've got a few more. Last one. Well done. Sorry about the ugly faces I pull. I think they're non, non negotiable, really. Okay, next one is feisty. If you have been using a weight, and you have the option, I'd either drop the weight down to a lighter one, so I dropped down two kilos, um, or I'd just go body weight, okay, because this really is, it's tricky. So first to begin with, pop it up on your shoulder, we're going to do it in stages, um, you're going to lunge to the side with the opposite leg. Now, I do not care really about the lunge. So I don't need you to make it the lowest lunge in the world. We're focusing on core today. So you can either be here or give me a small step and a really small bend of the knee that steps out. Ideally, this one stays quite straight. If it does bend a bit again, we're not too worried about the legs. So let's just go for a few side lunges just so we get, okay, cool. We know what side lunge is. Last one. And then from there, what I want you to do, the weight or the hand that's just up at your shoulder if you're going body weight, as you lunge, it's going to come to lunge first, and then we're going to reach up and over the head, and then pull it all back together. So we lunge, reach up and over, and then come back in. So here's what I want you to imagine. When you're reaching your arm up and over, we're pouring water out the ear, so that head's going to tip to the side, lengthening, feeling a stretch through the side of my body. Now, I do not care if that arm doesn't get straight, it is just about getting the bend through your side. So this is what you're gonna do. If you're gonna make it a little bit easier, take a smaller step, little bend, arm doesn't have to straighten. Let's do two more. And last time. Right, change it to the other side. Just let's all warm our brains up together or warm mine up. Just do a few side lunges without anything. Whew, last one, and then we'll add our bend. So we'll go into our lunge, bend, and bring it back. Remembering that you can shorten that, we don't have to take the arm straight. That's absolutely fine, or we can make it a little bit bigger like so. Make sure your chest doesn't look at the ground. You and your chest are going to look straight forward at the wall in front of you, at the camera. Well, at me. <laughs> oh, let's do two more. Pour that water out your ear. Last time. Well done. Okay, we're going to actually build on that move. We're going to make it harder, which sucks, right? Because it's already quite challenging. So you go for your side lunge and your bend. So we go side lunge, bend. From here, I'm going to hold this whole position. I'm going to take a step back with that bent leg, and then I'm going to pull back in. Now, once again, to make that easier, this is a very, very difficult move. I go small step, press up, little side bend, doesn't have to be a straight arm little step back, bring it back together. So step, bend, little step, 
bring together. Let's give it a go. So we lunge, bend, step, bring back in. Well done. Seriously, if you're getting this, it's high coordination, very high difficulty. You're pretty well smashing it. And I hope you've never done a core move quite like it, but you're going to feel it tomorrow. I promise you, your back and your waist muscles are going to be like, Jesus Christ, what happened here? Whoa. Last two, reach, step, and go one more time, lunge, reach, step, and in, well done. We have two more exercises after we finish this one, you're so nearly there. Let's go ahead, so we lunge first, I'll do the small version just to remind you, so small step, bend, step back, bring in, and we go big if you need to, or if you want to, it's not really a need, is it? <laughs> We're going to do around. Eight-ish, so not too many, stay with me. Last few. Oh, it's getting serious now, I've shut up. Last one. And rest it there. Seriously well done. Thank you so much for exercising with me today. If you see the camera change angles a couple of times, it's because for some reason my camera just didn't want to play the game today, so I apologise for any technical difficulties, but hopefully it was still worth doing. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed it and you've got to try some completely new exercises that you've never done before. Uh, so I just feel like the whole core training space is dominated by exactly the same moves over and over again. And actually your torso needs to be able to decelerate and accelerate in all kinds of different positions in life to help keep us safe, healthy, mobile until we get into an old age, move for different sports, etc, etc. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. Have a great day and I'll hopefully see you again.